Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. You deep thought over there, it looked like. I had a lot of things I'm looking at here, but my favorite story today is this one, for a lot of reasons. So, you guys know who Tamira Mensa-Stock is? I do. She is an Olympic gold medalist. Tokyo Olympics 2021. First ever black female athlete to win gold in women's freestyle wrestling. You heard that right. A real wrestler. Gold. An Olympic gold medalist. Mm -hmm. Tamira Mensah-Stock signed with WWE. And she uh, she is debuted for NXT Level Up. And as God is my witness, they changed her name. Well. No, Mike. No. <laughs> what in the world is the point of getting an Olympic gold medalist if you are going to change their name? Uh, we, we already went over this damn near 15 years ago. You know why? We were talking about this when it came to you have a guy by the name of Charlie Betts who was on the 2012 men's Olympic wrestling team. And sure, he didn't get a medal. But why are you changing his name, even though it was an homage to the amateur wrestling community and he became Chad Gable? We were doing the same thing. We did the same thing with Damon Kemp because they signed one of the most renowned. Yeah, but you know what's funny? They didn't do it with his brother. You're exactly right. They didn't change Kurt Angle's right. name. They didn't right. change Ronda Rousey's name. They, Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey would not let them change their names. That's a big difference as well here, too, where she can be sold on. You can be TMS when you leave here. You can actually be able to use your name, but for licensing purposes. And again, some people are fine with that. Other people are not. CM Punk would never be anything other than but CM Punk. So. May I may I point out that uh, they just signed Tama Tonga. Yeah. They didn't change his name. You're right, but they changed they, his brothers. Well, kind of. They changed from Tanga to Tonga. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, it's just. You know, it's not like. It's not like if Tangaloa gets fired and goes to the uh, Indies as Tangaloa, people aren't going to know it's the same guy. It's like, for some reason, they have to change some people's names, and other people, they have no problem letting them use their previous name. But this is not a one-way street either. Some people look at themselves and they want to be something else. They envision themselves Eddie Thorpe. He's not using his real name. You know, again, everybody has, I'm sure, their own ideas. And look, she's a lot more, you know, untested clay to try to meld from the corporate and management point of view than maybe some others. So just like Chad Gable was. So I'm not surprised that, that this is happening. I do find it silly, though. You're exactly I, I right. I find it very it's, weird. You want to know why? because the Olympics are in Paris and actually on your your neighboring network this year well i mean there's into? there's that as well yeah. but uh you know the main the main reason that i find it very odd is let's see if i can find this here okay yeah i got i got a picture of her on on level up okay she's decked out in red white and blue got flags on her knee pads <laughs> like I get it if, like, okay, you know, you're a famous person, and you want to go into a new career, and you don't want that to be, like, you know, you want to start fresh or whatever. They're not doing that. They're, like, acknowledging that she is an Olympic gold medalist, but they're using a different name. And I bring this up because you know what happened yesterday, which was just absolutely bizarre? What's that? So they've got a, a, a PLE coming up this weekend. They do? Okay. He and uh, one of the matches on the show is uh, for the women's North American title, mm -hmm. Kalani Jordan versus Sol Ruka. Okay? Yes. They have a Kalani Jordan video package. And the video package is not some made-up story. The video package is about what a great gymnast she was, all of these accomplishments she had in gymnastics. And my favorite part is they put up on the screen a newspaper article 
okay, about her. Let's see if I can find the name of the, uh, the, uh, it's probably out of business by now, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But anyway, they, they put up the news article talking about a bunch of her success in gymnastics, and they literally erased her real name and put her NXT name in. They've done this before. <laughs> her name isn't Kalani Jordan. No. So. <laughs> hey, Brian, they're taught. Look, one of their biggest stars in NXT right now on the come up is Lola Vice. Lola Vice was on national TV. She talked about being in Madison Square Garden as Valerie Loretta. Why not just stick with that? We knew that name. I don't know. I don't get it. I, like, I would get it if it were consistent across the board, but, <laughs> oh, let's bring in Tamatanga. We'll just leave him Tamatanga. Who cares? So let's bring, you know what? Let's bring in Sean Spears, but he's going to use his AEW name, but not his former WWE name. Neither of which is his real name. I mean, it's whatever. Who cares? And he didn't even bring back the 10 gimmick. He's not even 10 anymore. (laughs) Oh, well. Well, we did have a uh, Shawn Michaels media call. He was asked if there will be a TNA presence on Sunday, given they're heading to Toronto. He did not give any specifics, but did talk about interactions they have had with the likes of TNA, Bloodsport, and Noah. I want to see Shawn Michaels sit down with Brett Lauderdale. That's what I want to see. When asked about Drew Gulak and Gable Steveson no longer being with WWE, Michael said from his understanding Gulak's contract was up. There was no plan for him to be on the main roster. But over Steveson's athleticism, as he is someone who lands on his feet no matter what. Was he a cat? Maybe they should sign cats. Good politics right there from Shawn Michaels uh, easing out of that one. People know why those questions were asked. They say they use people to best... Well, here's the thing. You know, Gable Steven had accusations against him before he ever went to WWE. And he was not released because of those. He was released because he was not progressing at all. Now, I'm sure there probably is something to Drew Gulak's contract being up. But I think we all know that's not why he was released. So, but that's that's the story that was told here. Oh, yeah, it's because he wasn't ever going to be raised to the main roster. And it's like, yeah, but the training... He'd been there. I know, exactly. He'd been there. Exactly. I know. Doesn't feel like it's realistic for NXT to go on the road every week for TV. Wasn't sure. If right about that. That would be the case for the CW premiere show. Loves the attitude of Javon Evans. But over his future, it's unbelievable. Sees Lola Vice as someone could be a main roster star, especially after last night. And... uh Plenty more. You can listen to the podcast on the front page of WrestlingObserver.com as well if you want to hear more. And you don't have to be a subscriber for that one. That one's up free, yeah. Yeah. Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sikoa or whatever his last name is. Paul Paul Newman is watching this match. <laughs> and he's not Excuse on me? Cody's side. <laughs> What's the matter? Absolutely nothing. Everything's no. great. You know, Cody did say that he was looking for a manager. I think him and Paul Newman would be a... <laughs> what a handsome pair. <laughs> yeah. A dashing duo. That guy's a movie star, isn't he? Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.